Nearly 2,000 years ago, the Roman statesman Pliny the Younger described the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The event was dramatized in the 1912 Italian epic, Cabiria. Broad flames shone out in several places from Mount Vesuvius. Their brightness seemed to make the surrounding darkness even more impenetrable. Cinders, which grew thicker and hotter the nearer we approached, and pumice stones fell into the ships. Then, suddenly we were in shallow water, and the shore was blocked by the debris from the mountain. Volcanoes produced where two plates converge can be extremely explosive. Because of the viscosity of the lava, gas cannot bubble out and escape without violence. Explosions disperse the solidifying lava. Blocks and cinders fall close to the volcanic vent, building up the characteristic steep-sided cone. dreadful cloud with rapid zigzag flashes revealed behind it various shaped masses of flame like sheet lightning much larger the buildings were now shaking with violent shocks and seemed to be swaying to and fro as if they were torn from their foundations Heated gases, charged with red-hot dust or ash, light the night sky. Dust in the atmosphere can reduce the heat radiation from the sun and temporarily chill the climate. Electrical charges built up by the propulsion of loose material into the atmosphere are discharged as lightning and thunder. see a dense pall of smoke behind us getting bigger and bigger, following us like a river. We could hear women screaming, children crying, and men shouting. Most people had lost faith in the gods and were convinced that this must be their last night on Earth, the end of the world. <laughs> 